Okay, here's a close up of the hold fast rigging system. We have the Bullard, we have the Harkin 20 radial winch, and they're all on one plate. These two hooks here are called fair leads, and these two posts are Bullard posts. And we are discussing how to lift a fairly large uh, load on the radial 20 winch and then how to safely lower that again to the ground. I want to talk a little bit about the winch before we start lifting. It's got a 19.2 to 1 ratio for power. Uh, basically that's a 19 to 1 mechanical advantage. For what we're using this for, we've rated it at 950 pounds for working load limit. Uh, you don't really want to be dropping huge pieces of wood into this winch. That's why we've included the steel bullard on top. Any heavy wood needs to be really considered to be dropped into, into the steel and not into the winch. This winch is here designed primarily to do a lot of lifting. That being said, you can, and we will show how to safely do this, you can uh, lower loads with the winch as well. The bollard itself is uh, made out of steel and has a working load limit of 2,000 pounds. All right, so we are now ready to begin lifting with the winch. It's really easy to get set up for that. Uh, again, like I said, these are the st two steel fair leads. We have two because this uh, whole fast unit does have the ability to operate two ropes simultaneously, but we'll go over that on another video. Right now we're just doing lifting. So we want to come through the right fair lead behind the rear bullard post around the winch where we will wrap clockwise at least three times. If you have a little bit of space and you want to add another wrap, you can. It'll go over this self-tailing lip and then through the jaws and lock into place. We are ready to begin the lifting process. That's done by inserting the winch handle directly into the front of the winch drum. There is a self-locking mechanism on this that kind of locks it in place. And then basically we are ready to start cranking. Okay, now that your load is in the air and you're ready to let it to the ground, you want to first make sure your landing zone is clear of people. Obviously, safety first. Take your winch handle out, stow it in a safe place where you're not going to lose it. So when you're ready to begin lowering the load, what I like to do and this is probably the most dangerous part of this, is being sure to keep your fingers clear. Pull the line out of the self-tailing jaws and begin taking wraps. When you start feeling the load, wanting to start to slip on the winch drum, you can then capture that right off the post. You can then walk very much like a porter wrap anywhere you want to go and then I can just easily give it a little bit of slack and she runs perfectly through there and I can adjust the tension around both the bullard and the winch to get as much friction or as little friction as I need. All right, thank you again for your interest in the hold fast system. I hope that answered at least one of the questions as far as how to uh, lift and lower a load safely. 
as you can see, this uh, this load's pretty large, and we're able to lift quite a substantial amount with very little effort. Don't hesitate to reach out to us through our website. We try to get uh, questions answered as quickly as we can. And uh, I just want to thank you again so much. Hold fast, everybody. Great